fellow subscribers. Today we'll be taking a look at my favorite dinosaur, the Papo 2007 Spinosaurus. And I'm at just a loss for words for this figure. And note that there will be paint scuffs because it has a fair share of play for me and like and relatives that come over to my house to, uh, it it's a figure is just amazing and i guess we'll start off with the head for the head if my camera can focus yeah sorry about that it's just amazing the scalation it actually feels like scales on an actual living, breathing animal. The mouth, just amazing. Of course, like it's like the signature for Papo on their theropods at least. The articulated jaw, amazing. Some um, other companies try to replicate this, but in my humble opinion, I think Papo has mastered this. Like, and the teeth are all individually sculpted and painted, which is amazing. And the tongue feels very rough, like not not that rough, but kind of pretty rough. And the detail on the roof of the mouth, it's really cool. And the throat. It's amazing, but you know I can kind of see like the joint of the articulation of the articulated jaw. Yeah, that I don't know if it's just on my figure if, or on other people experience that too. But yeah, and I guess we'll go on to the arms, which are amazing. So thank you, Papo again. I will say thank you, Papo, because, yeah, it's like one of my favorite dino prehistoric companies. I wouldn't say prehistoric. Like, my favorite company to buy prehistoric figures from. But, yeah, you know, this is my only figure at the moment. And just need to focus. Yeah. And the arms are amazing. Pronated, and I don't know if it's my, it's just on my fig figure or, but this claw is like the biggest. I don't know if it's like on other figures or is it or it's just on mine. I'm just saying. And my legs have kind of gotten warped, like it doesn't stand up. It has to balance itself on like the feet and. This is like a stopper to make sure it doesn't fall over like, like, yeah. And for the body and sail, you know, the signature Spinosaurus sail, it's just amazing. You know, you have the scalation, the wrinkle, and under, and under the, and underneath, it's also amazing. Like the wrinkles on on the sorry sorry on the legs it makes it look makes it look like it's actually walking and moving and of course paint scuff and my one main complaint is i think the colors is are is too bland like it's just basically a gray and black yeah except for this i don't know if this minute detail, I don't know if it's just on mine, but there's like a silvery, a silvery blue, that kind of, kind of stripe on its sail, I don't know. I wish my camera would stop doing that. And like another silver stripe on top. And for the tail, it's just amazing. Like... The curve, it, again, it looks like an actual living, breathing animal. Like you would see this outside, and it, and the tail would just be like moving from side to side. It's amazing. And 
I were to rate this figure on a scale of 1 to 10, this would be a 10. Absolute 10. Yeah, the detail on this figure is just amazing. The wrinkles that make it look like the arms and legs are actually moving. The, the wrinkles on the neck that make it also that makes the figure look like a living, breathing animal. And a lot of people know that this figure is just amazing. Just to there. Yeah, sorry, that's my I have a loud background. You know, family. And action and for size comparisons we we have the Shalike Conquering the Earth Herrerasaurus, which the review will be coming out in like a day or two, probably tomorrow. And also the Shalike Velociraptor. Just gonna put that right there. And another Shalike model. I really also like Shalike. The, di uh, the Dilophosaurus, just gonna move these two figures out. Yeah. Yeah, these will all get their individual reviews soon. My chan this is my first YouTube video after all. And last but not least, the, the Juvenile Shalike Car- I mean, car not Carcarodontosaurus, Giganotosaurus. Which is amazing. I'm just gonna make sure put all of these figures to review. Yeah. Yeah. The yeah, I would definitely recommend the Spinosaurus by Papo. Just gonna, let me get these out of here. Yeah. So please make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and tell your friends about my channel. It really helps out a ton, and and if you don't like my channel, well, you can easily unsubscribe. But if you do, make sure to check if you're subscribed, because YouTube likes to unsubscribe people. And take care, and see you next time. Bye.